sometimes lost in the shuffle of all that is Colby Covington. We don't talk enough about just how elite a welterweight this is. Realized the UFC interim welterweight title back in the day, and he's a guy who many people believe on any given Saturday night, he can be the top 170 pound fighter in the world. Absolutely, and it's the work ethic. It's the work ethic of Colby Covington that stands out. When I was at Oklahoma State as a coach, we wanted to recruit Colby Covington out of junior college because he was such a phenomenal workhorse. Everybody recognized it from day one. And when you watch it in his approach to his fights, he fights in that very same way. He's in your face, he's grabbing you, he's clinching you, he's taking you down, and he'll even stand and strike and throw big shots with you as the fight progresses. Don't mistake the talk for a guy that cannot back it up with action. Colby Covington is a savage. Fear is not a factor for Colby Chaos Covington. Success has truly been one of the feel-good stories in mixed martial arts over the last several years. Charles Oliveira kind of left for dead by people in 2018, then went on to become the best lightweight in the world and still believes he can be that yet again if he can get a win tonight. He's got to win tonight. He's got to get going in the right direction. You lose your championship in the way that he did. You question whether or not Oliveira has the mental makeup to get back going in the right direction. How can you question it, though, when we have seen what he has done prior this guy is a tremendous striker unbelievable jiu-jitsu if you're on the ground with him you're constantly in danger he can submit you from any single position charles Oliveira, special man and it's always fun to be able to call one of his fights and i'm not sure minute for minute there is a more exciting fighter in mixed martial arts today than charles Oliveira. and thankfully the mma masses get to watch him compete yet again here tonight our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight to get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third man in the octagon fight. for this one. Ready. Do it. All right, here we go. Charles Oliveira, maybe the most exciting fighter, man or woman, on this roster, top to bottom. He is a finisher of the highest order, and you can be sure he will be in hot pursuit of another stoppage win here tonight. Oh, nice takedown by Colby Covington. You know he can be a volume striker. Dars, yep, he's trying to hit the Dars here. That Dars is tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get some. Big ground and pound. Both fighters back to their feet now. Landed a nasty fly knee to the head. Right up. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. Oh, got to protect your neck. He's in choke. He's locked in. Oh, he escapes. There goes another one. And once again, he just bats it away. Great submission defense. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, submission defense on four display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the Octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger.
Just over three minutes to go now. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Rear naked choke. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Now he's got good body position, yup. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, that looks tight. Strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, that was a trouble. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Under 20 seconds now to go. North-south position, crowd just can't help itself but to laugh. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, uh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Beautiful straight punch there, by Kevin. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? Oh, well, beautiful job by Covington to get inside, and ultimately Oliveira's got his head looking for a guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, look at this. Jumps over into side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Oh, he's out. win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Covington. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Change of the position. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Submission D. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. He passes the half. Oliver is right back to the full mount here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. That Darce is tight. That Darce choke is very tight. What he has to do now is slide that arm up under the neck, lock it in the crevice, make a figure four, and then try to finish his fight. There it is. Now he's going to bounce. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Oliveira. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. This is where he wants to be. Covington's in half guard. Right into side control. Oliveira's looking for a Darce choke here. Oh, it's tight. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got the choke. Oh. Charles Oliveira back with style points tonight. I mean, wow. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening. And then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a Darce choke, Charles the Bronx Oliveira! All right, so another win by submission for the UFC's submission king, Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Nobody's ever done it better. No one has done it better than Dubronx on the ground. When you're on the ground with Charles Oliveira, you're constantly in danger. And tonight he showed why he's the best grappler, our submission finisher in UFC history.